I found this iPod at a thrift store. It was in Nashville, so this could be full of country music. We're gonna figure it out together. Look at the back of this thing. And I just noticed, just right now, there's actually two stickers on here. So let's peel up the first sticker. Maybe it was more expensive at one point. I wish there was a date on here. Oh, okay, I just peeled off the sticker a little bit and there's no price underneath. All right, I'm a little bit nervous because what if nothing happens, I don't know. This is the original iPod connector. Not even the original one. The original one was like Firewire. This is the 30 pin connector. We're recording on the laptop now. Okay, here it goes. What's gonna happen? Oh my God, we got an Apple logo. We got an Apple logo. It's really dim. Oh my God, it says welcome. Oh wait, it just said welcome, then it said connected. Oh my God, did you hear that? You can hear the little clicks. I guess I could have plugged it directly into a power source and then just charged it up a little bit to see what's on here. Should I have done that? Whatever. Well, we know that it turns on. Do they even call it iTunes anymore? Or is it just called music now? Dude, I feel like a boomer. All right, we've got iTunes open. Oh, when it says 3.86 gigabytes available, I think that that means there's nothing on here. All right, I'm devastated. There's nothing on this iPod. I was so excited that it was gonna be full of like Elvis songs or something. All right, so here's the plan. Because there's no music on this iPod, that's devastating. I'm devastated. I'm gonna put some music on this and then I'm gonna listen to the music. Let's actually look up when this iPod came out. Wow, there's like a page on Apple's website that has like iPod stuff. iPod Nano third generation, year introduced, 2007. How old was I? Nine? Nine years old? But this was the iPod that I really wanted. I don't know why, I just, I think I liked the size of it. I had the fourth generation iPod, the first thing that I ever purchased that was like over $100. But this one, I remember kids at school had it and I was like, that one's cool. And I think that why I like this one is because the screen was horizontal. It's got four gigabytes. It says that holds a thousand songs. Is that still true? Oh, only silver was available for the four gigabyte one. That was the only option. If you wanted any other color, if you wanted black, blue, green, pink, or red, you had to get the eight gigabyte option. It's so crazy that that used to be like the highest option. Wow, it's so sad. It says this article has been archived and is no longer updated by Apple. I guess that makes sense. Well, let's let this thing charge for a little bit. I'm gonna add some music to it. And then we're gonna put in the headphones. I got these headphones right here. These actually came from the last generation iPod Touch that I impulsively purchased when Apple announced they were discontinuing the iPod Touch. The battery life is not that good. All right, should we just inject this thing and see what happens? We just ejected it. Oh, you hear that? Wow. On here, we've got English. We're gonna select English. Oh shoot, what if I, oh my God, I accidentally selected Japanese. I like how it's all Japanese and then it just says podcast. Well, I just totally screwed this up. All right, let's get Google Translate out. But now, so the second to last thing is settings. Boom, we're in, we're back, we're in English. Okay, so the menu button doesn't really work unless you press it really hard and it makes a click. Cover flow, now this is cool. Is that not the most iPod thing you've ever seen? I kind of wish I had the original iPod headphones because you know, that would be period correct. The ones that were like little speaker grills and magnetic and you you'd go like this sometimes and they would like, they wouldn't stick. We're plugging them into the iPod. Ooh, oh, you can hear the click in the headphones. Wow, I have chills. I have chills in my body, all over my body right now. I'm breaking out in hives because of this iPod. I don't know why these headphones sound so good. Like Apple, they cooked. All right, I think I'm gonna go. I just went for a walk and I only brought the iPod. Let me tell you, 2024, going on a walk without your phone feels insane. It feels like you're unhooked from the world. I don't know how else to explain it. Get yourself an iPod and go for a walk. Wait, I should put podcasts on here. That would be sick. Hmm. 